up guys it's me Desek and today I'm going to be reviewing Dr. Lobster's Carved EP which came out on indefinite recordings so yeah let's get to it Okay, so uh, Dr. Lobster just came out with his uh, new EP on indefinite recordings called Carped, uh, which was released like uh, almost a week ago. And no, exactly a week ago, sorry. And yeah, it consists of four tracks. Uh, one of them is a collab with Akuma. And yeah, let's just get into it. The first track of the compilation is uh, Blast Furnace. Same bass in the background. Okay, so we're starting out really strong for the EP. That was a really great track. And the intro and outro gave me a little bit of morale vibes because of how ominous and tense it sounds. Especially the build-up. The build-up was the most that reminded me of morale because that's what he normally would do. And yeah, overall the sound design, you know, is good. And I also enjoyed that snare in the second drop in the sustain bass. You know, some sustain basses can be so generic or can lack, or, you know, like just kind of like shouldn't be there or something. But this sustain bass was so well, you know, layered between the basses. And for me, it sounded so subtle that it didn't overpower the other, you know, sounds, you know, it was just, it fits so well. So go on Dr. Lobster for that. Now moving on to the second uh, song of the compilation is called, as the EP, well, Carped. I hope it's everything right. Carped. Oh! 
so good. That was really stompy. I really enjoyed that. Oh, 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 But that drum, you know, gave me a little bit like very, very alive vibes, just a little bit, and also a little bit of uh, Marat, a little bit. Like if they both of them may collab, which they, they have, they have a collab. That was really good. And the snare for me at least hits hit hard, you know, it was really it was a really good snare. Now with a solid ultra. It was a really great song. I really did enjoy it. Now, moving on to the third song, is called Brain Melter. This intro is giving me a little bit like future rhythm or melodic rhythm vibes. It's a good drop, but uh, for me, like it doesn't like stand out like the other two for me did. And I will say this: I am enjoying this breakdown. Oh, okay, it is there. That's all.
Okay, so I will say this. I just wish that when it's ending in the in, in the drops, you know, if you have that part where it goes like vroom, do, 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 vroom, do, 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 vroom, vroom, like something like that, that sound design specifically. Like I wish it were being more longer, you know, like that uh, rhythm that it had, you know, like uh, make it a little bit more longer, you know, like give you a time to vibe to it more. You know, uh, you know, like boom, do, 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 boom, do, do, boom, 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 and then like pitch it up and go and maybe I like sustain bass if he wanted to, but either way, it's solid. It's it's a solid track. I mean, it's not my, it not be my favorite, but still, it's a solid track. Now moving on to the final song of the compilation is his collab with Akuma, and it's called Greasy. <laughs> This is like the longest of the songs in this compilation with 5 minutes and 19 seconds. Gave me a little bit like Skrillex and Virtual Riot vibes just for a millisecond. for me and really cool I really enjoyed that the effect right there and this is what it was what I was not expecting you know, because I heard like a clip and the, the drop sounded different from what I was expecting Oh, <laughs> 
Sorry, sorry. Okay, so that was it. That was Dr. Lobster's carved EP. And I have to say, for just four tracks, it was pretty good. It was a pretty solid EP. As you know, as its first solo release in indefinite recordings is pretty good. And I have to say that my favorites will have to be Blast Furnace, Cart, and his collab with Akuma and Breezy. Brain Melter uh, will be my least favorite because for me it didn't stand out too much. I mean, it's a solid track, but it just didn't capture my attention too much. The, the breakdown did. I really enjoyed the breakdown on Brain Melter, but still, it just didn't like, holy fucking shit. Uh, you know, give me that type of vibe. But either way, you know, solid uh, EP for Dr. Lobster. And yeah, uh, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to. And click on the notification bell to keep you guys updated on my next videos. And yeah, this is Dexac signing off.